Okay, good evening, all of our to be area managers by October. Thank you for taking the time to get onto this call, or if you're watching the recording, thank you for taking the time to watch this recording. Uh, so you guys probably all know me, but for anybody that might not, my name is Danny Wells, and I am a soon-to-be National Vice President, and we've got Fiona McCarthy, who is currently a National Vice President, soon-to-be Executive National Vice President on the call. So we, myself and Fiona, last night, by um, demand, were asked to provide some sort of Zoom call for the guys that are consultants going for districts. And basically what they were asking for was a little bit of help and guidance, putting together some sort of business plan. Like they all knew they needed to be and wanted to be districts by October, but they weren't quite sure how much QB they needed, how much they needed for qual, how much they needed for completion. And they just had a few questions. So we kind of went over the questions that they had and, and answered them. So myself and Fiona, have just got a couple of things that we want to share with you guys going from district to area. And we've also got two area managers on the call who I'm sure will be more than happy to share a few top tips on themselves. And then um, if you guys have any questions specifically on areas, then we can address them as well. So Fiona, did you want to say anything before I do my bit? Um, no, just say welcome to the call. And um, I think that, um, let me just move that off my screen. Um, I think it's really important to, you know, when you commit to this, like, do the daily disciplines um, and be serious about this business because it's going to get you what you want. So whether you do it now, three months, six months, a year, um, and whatever you do now, it will be a positive out outcome. And do it correctly. Like, for me, if I'm going to do something, I'll do it 100%. You know, I'm all in, or why, why? You know, it's just crazy. So commit, really commit to this. Make that decision, you know, no matter what you're going to do. And it's not a lot, what we're asking, but, you know, this in addition, don't skip out a week. So it's nine weeks. Um, and it will really help, your, you know, help your business over the summer because, Summer is weird, you know, it's, it's, it, you feel a little bit distant, not from your business because you're in control of that. Things you aren't in control of, which is perhaps people, excuse me, like your team and our bond as such, because people are going off holidays in different places. So you guys being an area on this call, you know, you're going to be rallying your districts at different times. Um, and some of them potentially could hit, um, you know, kind of go down on that roller coaster slightly. It may not if they've also committed to the, DM like we're doing like we did with them last night so they've got their nine weeks so it keeps it all on track for all of us and just know that if you do what you can do and, and hats off to that so do, you know follow the course we're helping you with this um and it really you know so just make sure you have integrity like we always talk about your words your bond so if you say you're going to do this do this and if you're not that's okay um but I think it's worse to do intermittently um and because you won't feel good about yourself because you know you've cheated yourself so that that's what, what i want to say about that fabulous okay so i've got some figures for you all just to start off and then fiona i know has got a little bit of advice as well about helping your new consultants get started and then we'll take any questions that you guys want us to talk about specifically and we've got three area managers on the call now as well so anything that we can all help answer for you so first of all, i'm going to start with some numbers so there are three parts to your business now as district managers that you really need to juggle and i always think that when you get to district manager and beyond it's like juggling plates because being a consultant going district it's mainly just you you building up your business but when you go district going area you've all of a sudden got these spinning plates and you need to balance all of them so the three areas that you've got is first of all you've got your own business so your own business, you do not want to neglect your own business. And that is your PQV, which is your personal qualifying volume. So your PCs, your, um, your own spend, your customers, your clients, your own personal business. Then you've also got here your current team. Now, if you're a district manager on the, t on the call now and you don't have a current team, that's fine as well. There are people that go district by themselves. But most of you I know have got a current team. So you've got your current team here. So that's one of your focuses. So let's call that focus one, your current team. Focus two is your personal business. 
And then your third focus is your new consultants that you're going to sponsor into the business. So these are like your three spinning plays. And people say to me, which one should you focus on the most? All of them. Don't give all of your attention just to your current team and then don't sponsor new people. And all equally, don't give all of your focus to your new team and neglect your current team if they're wanting to grow as well. So it is spinning plates, unfortunately. There's no, there's nothing that I can say that says just focus on this one area. You need to focus on all of three of these areas. So you've got your current team, if you've got a current team, you've got your personal business, uh, so your, your clients and your PCs, and then you've got your new consultants that you're gonna go and sponsor. So you've got those three areas that you really need to sort of juggle and focus on, but that's fine because you guys are going area and this is what area is all about. It's about those spinning plates and juggling them. So the numbers, so you, you, some of you might know the numbers. So this is for those that may not know the numbers or just need a little bit more clarification on the numbers. So to go into area qual, you need 10,000 QV to go into qualification. So that will get you into qualification. So let's say you're looking at going into qualification in August. Um, your date may be different to that. It might be July, it might be September, whatever your date is, is your choice. So you need at least 10,000 QV to go into qualification. Now, if you um, are the only district manager in your team, that is all you need to focus on. If you've got a district manager in your team, so let's say Chloe, for example, has Steph, who is a district manager in her team, Chloe needs to make sure that her central district does 2,500 QV as well. And um, that's included in the 10,000. So let's say that Chloe, uh, sorry, uh, let's say that Steph does 2,500 QV, um, but Chloe hasn't done at least 2,500 QV in her central district. Even if all the numbers add up to area qual, if she's not done, 2,500 in a central district, she's not in area qual. So if you don't have a district manager in your team, don't worry about this, you don't, this is not numbers that affect you, but if you do have a district manager in your team, you, you need to make sure your central district is doing at least 2,500 QB. Does that part about qual make sense? Has anybody got questions about going into qual? Perfect, okay, so to complete area, you need, if you're gonna do it over two months, you need 24,000 QV. If you're gonna do it over three months, you need 30,000 QV. And the first month and the last month needs to be a minimum of 10,000, and your central district needs to have 2,500 in it as well. Now, myself and Fiona will agree with this. We always recommend you go for promotion over two months. If you have to do it over three, you have to do it over three. Stacy did it over three, it didn't kill her. But we recommend you do it over two. The reason why is because it's high energy. So you guys have all gone district, so you know this. When you go in district, it's a lot of high energy, and it literally is your main focus. So if you're going to spread that over three months, it's a long time to spread it over. If you do it over two months, it just wraps it up quicker. And plus, if you don't quite hit it in the second month, you've got a third month to fall into. Whereas if you set your goal to do it over three months, if you don't hit it in that third month, you've then got to keep going. So I personally recommend do it over two months or aim to do it over two months. You've got that backup month if you need it and it wraps up that energy a lot quicker. So that's completing. So what I would suggest, and this is only a suggestion and people do this differently and that's fine. I would suggest that you go into qual with 12,000 QV. This would be my suggestion of a plan. So your plan, oh, Caroline. Your uh, office was so funny at Leadership Academy. So uh, this is a suggestion. I would suggest that you go into Qual, let's say August, it can be July, it can be September. August, 12,000 QV for Qual, and then September, go for 12,000 again or more and complete and do it over two months. That would be my suggestion of a business plan. So then what I would do is I'd break it down even further. So this is how I break down my business plan to give you an idea. So, my plan would be if August is going to be 12,000 QB and September is going to be 12,000 QB, then I would divide that total, so the total is 24,000, I would divide that by the average spend, which for me is 150 points. Now, if your average spend, if your average business builder, consultant, or PC doesn't spend 150, you can change this average spend. My PCs and consultants, their average spend is 150 QV. So if I divide that by 150, that means that I need 160 people in my whole area 
doing a 150 spent over those two months. So that's PCs, ICs, that's my own spend, customers, clients. So that's not just 100, that's not 160 people doing a, doing a 150 spend by me, that's the whole team. So if you split that into two months, because that's, that's over the two months, split that into each month, that's 80 a month. So 80 150s a month. And that works out 20 a week. And if we go on a five day week, then that's four a day in your whole team. So what I would do is I'd look at that and I'd say, right, so between my whole area, I am looking for four people a day to do a 150 order. So consultants, PCs throughout our whole team, not just me personally. And that's based on a five day week. So that's kind of like how I would break the numbers down just to make it really clear. Because obviously 24,000 QV is not going to come out of nowhere. You actually have to work out where it's going to come from. So then the next thing that I would do, and this is what I did when I went to area, is I got a big sheet of blank paper and I wrote me in the middle and I wrote 12,000 for qual, 12,000 for completion. And then I drew empty circles around and I stuck this up in the bedroom and the empty circles were for me to fill in over the next couple of months with my business builders and my PCs. And I didn't just stop with my directs here. I put empty circles with my direct sponsoring people as well. So for me, the empty circles made me visually see where the QB was going to come from. So then as people were being sponsored into the team, I was able to write their names. I could put Caroline, I could put Pam, Pam's joined. I could put Stacy, Stacy's joined. Suzanne, Jane, Chloe, Vic, and then Claudia and uh, Kelly. So as people are joining, I can fill it in. So that was what I had on my wall. So I could visually see where the gaps were and where I needed to focus on. So a couple of other last things before I hand over to Fiona is I would suggest that you have these as your goals. So I would suggest that one of your goals is to Roger by mid month. So your Roger is district, which is 2,500. So do your Roger Bannister by the 15th of the month, 2,500. That would be a really good goal to go for for July, August and September. Then my next goal would be DM bonus by the end of the month. So DM bonus is 5,000 points plus five newbies in the team, five newbies in your central district. And then um, the other one would be then obviously area qual. So going doing 10,000 plus, I would suggest 12,000, but area qual can be 10,000 plus. So... That's kind of like a bit of advice with the numbers. So I'm going to hand it over to Fiona now, who's going to go into a little bit more detail about new consultants and just helping you a little bit more expand on that a little bit more. All right, cool. Thanks, Danny. Um, okay, so like with your businesses, so Danny's done, you know, that's great. You know, perfect, Danny. You have three sections, okay? So district manager. Um, so you've got, first of all, your own personal growth. And, and Danny's spot on with that. You know, you, you know, 2,500 a month, but actually you are really going for your DM bonus because that's halfway to area. Well, okay. And you can do D DM bonus. You're, you're powering through into area qual. You're a strong district manager. But interesting, Stacey, when you share your stats with us as a newest um, you know, area as well. Um, but to me, no matter what, because when you hit area, you should always do your district um, DM bonus. You get into that, that mindset, you know, the 2,500 is always you and you. And as you've grown your preferred client base, they're going to be coming back and ordering anyway, and that adds to your 5,000. But that's, that's the minimum, okay? Because if you start doing that really early in your business, you cannot control your team. But you can control your personal activity. You can't always control the outcome, but you know if I do this and if I get better at the game and the more I practice, the more natural it becomes to me, the quicker my results and the better my results, okay? So I, so for me, a DM bonus is no matter what. That's 5,000, right? Now, where are you going to get the rest of your 5,000 from? Danny's done great because she always two five, yeah, absolutely. And you'd be hitting that, Caroline. I've been seeing that anyway as well. You've been Roger Bosa. You and Carol have got this two thing going, which is great. Okay, so you're upping this up because going to the next level, it's like your awareness. Think of a dimmer switch, okay? 
you, you know, you get, you, you, you're going to turn that dial. It's getting brighter and brighter. It doesn't ever stop. The more you are aware, the more you turn, the brighter the light gets. So momentum equals activity and energy. So you're focusing on growing area. So to me, you control that 5,000 QB, okay? That's, you know what to do to get to achieve that because you're already a district manager, right? So you've just got to up that. Exactly. So 2,500. So if you do have a DM in your team already, then that's, if they're doing 25 and you're bonusing on 5,000, they're 7,500. Okay. You sponsor in a new PC, sponsor in a new IC. Let's go down the IC route. You know, um, you know, they get into um, district qual. Let's say they do 2,000. So now you've got 9,500. So the 500 can come from your PCs. Okay, so there is so many different ways to do this business. I like to upsell. I tend to do um, less people maybe and bigger numbers. Danny, you do it the other way. So she does more people and less numbers. But I kind of, what I do is, um, Debbie Neal said something years ago and I took this with me and I literally have always done this. So um, every month I put, somebody goes into DM Quan, every month somebody promotes out my business and that's how it's been for years for me now okay dm quality i'm a dm dm baby making machine <laughs> that sounds really bad <laughs> bread. Making machine. <laughs> bread making machine okay so let's quickly talk about so all right so for me i like group presentations i do you know i find it a lot quicker um yeah 500 exactly so 500 again um so by your new ICs have all done at least, what you want to do is double their, double their game too, Caroline, because you're, you're bringing people up with you, okay? You're scooping people up, okay? So they're going to do what you tell them to do. They don't know what to do, okay? Your advice is, right, you know, how serious are you a walker, jogger, runner, or sprinter in this business, okay? Uh, you do have to honor what they want. And if they say, oh, you know, when people say, I'm just going to like, you know, monkey, monkey, whatever they say, and I, I, I respect that. And I, in my head, I'm going, okay, so you're not really the person I'm going to be working with strongly. Okay, so I'm looking for the people who are looking. Okay, so so here we go. So this is Eric Qual, okay? And I completely, Danny, like you, two months. I've always promoted every level in Albon in two months. Um, you know, because it just, it just, it's exhausting. <laughs> it is exhausting, okay? All right, so Eric Manager, so if I've, if I've taken responsibility... I'm now, and I can control this, then I'm going to hit my bonus. Okay, so I'm in that because I've hit my bonus. I'm looking, yeah, there you go, Caroline. So you have five people doing about a thousand. So I'm also going to sponsor. Okay, so I've got five new PCs and or ICs. So at least a minimum of two ICs. Okay, so with those two ICs, I'm going to launch them, and and my, my intention is to get both of them into DM Qual. Okay. A thousand is scraping the barrel. Okay, one thousand five hundred. You know, the strong start jumped up and down when we used to copycat that program, but that's gone now. But I'm, that's what I'm looking for. The closer I can get them to the three thousand mark, the easier it is for them to complete in two months. I'm going to tell them this, and they've got to do their pace. But you know, I'm doing a minimum of, of four to eight parties a month with them. So if each party is bringing two two hundred to I can sometimes do up to 800 okay so let's say i'm doing 500 okay of four parties with my two ic's okay so that means i'm okay so one ic okay so i'm doing 500 times four so that's 2000 okay with my other ic i'm doing the same thing so again averaging that so that's eight parties that's 4000 um sorry another two so that's 4000 okay um that's that that, that 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 means i'll be doing way more than that because i'm counting that as mainly the ones that danny talked about your individual people yeah you're out as well as doing parties so you're doing both by the way i'll do one-on-one drop-offs as well um 40 faces a month you guys should be doing that anyway buy 40 gold like sachet samples okay you can expose that to 40 new people and that's not even doing the bag drop-offs if you're doing that in your business as well so now you're really cranking up the pace okay and get those gold sachet samples post them to people who haven't yet tried the products okay i i have nothing wrong when i'm ready to go i will speak to people and off the back was in a conversation 
um, I used to be very good at this because I was scared to talk about the business for a long time. So um, if I'm serious with somebody with the business, I'm going to give them, a, I'm going to offer a coffee one-to-one date. The people I'm just meeting out and about, I'm going to give them sachet samples right there and then. Right there and then. Like a fate, except I'm not doing fate. I'm just engaging in conversation. I've got these to give out. And you know what? I'm going to take that chance. So I'm going to get the number and I'm going to follow up with them. That's a way to get your mass exposure out there. Okay. So then, so then another thing as well, upsell. A lot of people don't upsell. Okay. Like they sell one, like you sell a primer. Well, what about a primer? And then how about a foundation to go with a primer? And if you're going to have a foundation, you might as well, might as well have the resetting powder. So I knew like part of like upselling is SVPs, 30 days to healthy fitness and beyond. Find five people, and Peyton does a great training on this. I think Danny posted on the WhatsApp to come on board. Everybody knows five people who want to have a bikini body or who want to take responsibility for their health. Teach your people and your team to find their five people too to join you on a 30 days to help them on this campaign, okay? Or your PCs, if they haven't, if your PCs are only buying makeup, you need to give them sachet samples of the nutrition. If they're only buying the gold bag, you need to give them the new rescue or new range. You need to go back to every single buddy and offer them what they haven't tried yet. You've already got a look in on these people. You need to ask for referrals. How many people are asking for another person off the back of who they're speaking to and giving them the free product for that referral? Whether it works out or not, you'd be mega generous when you go into the next level. Okay, people to do presentations, whether it's a Saturday morning coffee and croissant, you know, four people around the, the gold bag and, and a sink each, and off you go. And off the back of that, you know, you're inviting somebody. I always, when I have group presentations, I can get a lot more people and a lot more points in a lot shorter time frame. And I'm looking for two people minimum scouring that room, whether they tell me they're interested or not to follow up with a coffee date in 48 hours. I'm in front of them with the business. It's just, oh, you know, there's so many different ways, but upsell. So don't just, if somebody wants to buy conditioner for a client, and you know, say to them, hey, why don't you just, you know, always offer. Give them more deals. Think out the box. You're an entrepreneur here, okay? So you want to be going, okay, so they get 20%. I take a lot of control of my PCs when I'm going into promotion as well. Like, I'm not really interested. If they buy online, I need to upsell. So I need to contact them and I need to say, hey, you know how you got your 20%? Um, I'm, it's a special. And I always make out it's not from me. Like, I remember Tiffany Challenge. So one year when I earned the Tiffany Challenge, we had to sponsor 10 preferred clients to do 350 PQV and we had to do 20,000 PQV in three months to earn that first incentive. Okay, that first New York incentive. And I'm like, okay, so sorry, sorry. So it was sorry, 10 new consultants, 350 and 20,000 PQV. So how was I going to get my PCs or my clients to, how was I going to sell to them? So what I would say is contact all of them and say, hey, I only get, I only have five of these. Um, special offers to give away and I thought of you because you've been loyal to me for two years or because you you know because I know how much you love the products or it's your birthday or whatever reason okay so and this is the end what it was back then you buy 200 pounds you get 200 pounds for free it was called the uh whatever it was the offer back then it's like an ASVP deal now um and you know what that's how I managed people thought oh my god she only has five to give away and I'm one of her five I'm going to take it so get smart. So you can say something like, hey, you know what? You could, you, all these old consultants, this is perfect timing. Coming out tomorrow, you're getting these old consultants who've lost that. Is that right? Yeah. That ID? Yeah. yeah. I'll pass them to Danny. Can explain that in a minute? So I, but I would go back and say, hey, look, if you, if you, I've only got this, this ASVP deal at my price, I only have five to give away, you know, and you know, I know how much you love this. Or if you buy two products, I'll give you one for free. Get a flash buy product. Make a deal that is irresistible. Get excited about it. Be like, oh my God, you know what? You're so special to me. I really think you deserve this. Oh my God, people will be like, oh, I want one. I want one. You know? So really think differently here. You're going area, guys. You know? So you've got to create more of that QV flowing to you. And how do you do that? Pop in these different ideas. If your neighborhood, if you've not been and walked around every door and knocked 20 doors that way, 20 doors that way, 20 doors that way, 20 doors that way, why not? Why not? Come to They're that. all there in your street. You know what? Invite them to a summer barbecue. You know what? Invite them to, you know, you know, whatever you want to create. 
pins and strawberries. I don't care. Right? Um, yeah, exactly. It's changing the story in your mindset about those ASVPs. You need to upsell here. You're not just, somebody's just buying a primer. They can't just buy a primer from me because I'm going area or nation or whatever I'm doing, okay? Mm. Um, so, so get the people around, you know, and if they can't make it, great, go back on the door and say, hey, sorry I missed you, but I would love to give you some samples to trial for free. Would you be interested in that? Be cool about it. They'll be cool with you, okay? So there's so much stuff out there for you. To, to really get nitty gritty into and, and, and you're looking to go into other people's social circle of influence. Don't keep going back to your own people again and again because that's a recycling list and it starts to annoy people, okay? So you have to go out and make new and, and that's how you'll grow your team and your business as well. So I'm gonna pass that back to you, Danny. So yeah, just adding something about the ASVP. So Caroline's put she used to be really frightened to sell the ASVPs, but now she sells you know, loads. If I wasn't an Arbonne consultant and somebody approached me about one of the, say, the 30 days healthy living sets and the cost of it, I would have said no, like nowhere am I buying that. But if somebody had approached me and said, um, and we'd had a conversation and they'd actually spoke to me and found out that I actually was suffering with tiredness, low energy. If they had established a problem that was in my life, that I probably wasn't walking around with like a a sticker on my forehead saying you know I really suffer with energy and tiredness but if they'd spoke to me uncovered the problem and my problem was I was tired if they'd said to me do you know what I'm doing this thing it's like a whole set a 30-day set it's absolutely amazing I can show you how to get a 40% discount it helps you with your energy helps you with gut irritations it's going to make your skin glow it's your breakfast it's your lunch for 30 days it's incredible and if they told me how I was going to feel buying this ASVP this 30-day uh, set not to mention the fact that there's a full six week money back guarantee. If somebody had told me that, I would have absolutely bought it. Even though I had no money, I would have bought it because it would have made me feel good about it. So don't be scared about asking questions and finding out what people's problems are because when they tell you the problem, they are giving you the, the problem that they've got because they want a solution. If you've got a solution for them, people will pay for that solution. They are honestly not bothered about spending money if it's gonna give them the solution to their problem. They really, really will. Um, so what questions did you guys have that you would love us to, to mostly address with Going Area? Are you gonna say something, Fiona? Yeah, I just wanna say there, so you sell 10 ASVPs at 357, that's 300, um, sorry, at three, yeah, 3,570 right there. Love it. And I've just put on the WhatsApp the paint. I've just put on the area WhatsApp the Peyton Mott scripts that she used. She literally built a nation with just the 30 days to help you live in. Perfect. Okay, so did you guys have any specific questions on building your area? If not, we'll go to some of our area managers on and ask them to share their top tips. I'm sure they won't mind. Uh, okay, Caroline, did you want to share a couple of your top tips to area? Hey there. Okay, so yeah, I think for me, it was just, it's genuinely for me, it was about having a team that was in place, ready to go. So like in a way, going to area didn't feel like it was an uber duper push, although you wouldn't think that from the state of my house, but it was um, that I suppose it was just, I had this preceding three or four months where I did a lot of sponsoring and it then... I got to the point where then those people had had a month or two to kind of get settled in and they were in their proper start month. So then they were genuinely sort of starting to be doing work for themselves. So I had, I had some that were still launching, but some who were then looking after themselves and they were doing their thousand or 1500 or whatever without particular the high level of support for an input from me. Um, so then I just had a lot of people. So I've got about 12, probably when I went to area, I had about 12 ICs. So some of those were brand new in month, in the month that I went. And so obviously then I was getting effectively their investment spend as they were buying their top starter kits. And then I had a whole load of other people. So some of them were only doing, I had a couple that were only doing 250, 250 QVs or something. Some that were doing about 500 and a few that were doing 1,000 or 1,500 QVs. So it's just kind of adding up and making sure that you've got enough people who, are, who you're supporting and coaching and mentoring to kind of, that are running the area. So, you, so then I just did my bit. I did my two and a half thousand and then they each did their contribution. So I think that's the thing. Just make sure, try and make sure you've, you've done enough sponsoring. You've got enough people. Love that. 
I don't know. That's, that's not inspirational, really. It's just no, no, no. That's perfect. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> great. that's great. And I think it's lovely to gather other people's, um, you know, ideas and how they went to area because everybody goes to area differently. So that was great. Thank you, Caroline. No worries. Okay, Suzanne, did you want to share anything about going to area? All right. Okay. All right, Stacey. Are you? Oh. Sorry. No, I'll be there in a bit. Okay. Oh, Caroline, what's that? Is that your, uh, is that what you built to area there? Hang on. So I think this was my team more or less when we went to area. So I've got kind of all of these, some of whom, so I've got um, Pam, who was a district. So I had one district here and she's got kind of a couple of people on, within her district. And then I've got all these other ones here, some of whom were doing more and some were doing less. But it was kind of the, the cumulative amount of it was enough to kind of take us there, if that makes sense. So that's my experience was I went to area with a lot of people not doing very much. How many districts? One. I've got one district and then I've got about five at the moment who are in DMQ qualification. Um, and at the time I went to area, I think I had three who, who went into DM qual that month but they were only doing between a thousand and fifteen hundred each. Um, so yeah, so that was kind of how it went. So in fact, I think, yeah, I think I was not those two. So it was that many I had when I went to this to area. So some people think go to area with fewer people doing more. Whereas I went with lots of people doing a smaller amount. Yeah. And there's no right way or wrong way. It's just a different story for everybody. And I liked yeah. as well that you just then said, I'm taking the people you covered up weren't doing anything. Are they inactive? They were just, I haven't sponsored them at that point. I've just oh, added right. them to this since. But yeah, oh, okay. there was, I had a couple that were inactive. Because I was going to add that as well. Um, there is a high level of uh, attrition coming into our business where people are coming in and people are leaving. You want to be at a point where there's more people coming in than what are leaving. The people that are leaving, that's always going to happen. Doesn't matter what level you're at, people will leave your business. It's just the type of business that it is. So don't be disheartened by people coming in and then going inactive. You just want to make sure that the people that are coming in are coming in faster than the people that are leaving. I think as well, I think I, in the main, try to sponsor people who I think are not hopefully going to go inactive. I sponsor as far as I can really high quality people who I think have got a good chance of making it in the business. And because I don't want, I haven't got time. I've, I haven't got much time in my life. So like when Fiona's saying four to eight parties, I mean, I've like literally got enough time to launch each person once because I only have five, four nights a month. I can actually go out the house or whatever. So I, I'm really, really time poor. So I can't afford to sponsor a lot of people who aren't going to turn into good prospects, you know, and good, good team members. So I'm probably quite selective about who I, sponsor to try and have the maximum amount of um people who are going to really come to something and, and the minimum amount of people who are going to come on board and then leave again yeah another, another nice thing you can do with that if you are time poor i mean obviously parties online are incredibly quick for half an hour with a lot of volume of mass people so that that's that's been proven really successful recently as well but i would say whoever your sponsor is is going to help you to go area too you know, their investment is in you, so you double up your nights of parties. So let's say you can, your time for me, you can only do two a month. Get your sponsor to do one as well at the same time, and that is in your circle. So that is a double QB evening that's going to you. So that's Carol, a really Carol great is, Yeah, Carol is three hours from me, so I've only ever seen Carol once. <laughs> Some people can do that though, Carol you know what I mean? Like that's what I mean. That just, <laughs> yeah, just thinking different ideas, even though she's yeah. three hours, she could have done, let's say you had your. I don't know, let's say you had your aerobic class ladies. Uh, you can invite them to an online Facebook with Caroline running it, or you were, Carol, sorry, running it, Caroline, where you were doing what you were doing to create your QB. Do you know what I mean? So so I think sometimes we think we're in business. If you think this is for yourself, you know, we say we're not for yourself, you're not by yourself. You know, so sometimes people, because we are very good at, especially leaders, we tend to take a lot on ourselves and we forget to ask for help. And I, I, this is one of my massive weaknesses. So really it's, you know, what I found is moving forward for me because I've been reaching down and lifting up districts and working with their sponsor. So I'm, I've got the time to give, if that makes sense. But you're just thinking again, how can you split that time in half and double the QV? That two of you can do something running alongside to help that one person. So it's just another way again, no right or wrong, 
but like you say, you know, some people have got a distant um, team, some people have got a localized team. You know, it's, it's, and, and when you get a team abroad, again, for my team in America, it's working alongside new people coming through the system there of where I can help do what I can do on this side and, you know, and they can do what they can do. So it's, it's about, you know, but it's a great way. It's all new, you know, it's all about, you know, helping and learning. But like you say, if you're time poor, then that is one way you could double up QV coming through. Yeah, because interesting, my team's quite geographically spread because I live in Derby and I've got, my team is in York, Worcester, Scarborough and other bits of Nottingham so they're kind of, and, and rugby so I'm quite geographically spread so I do a lot of and I spend a lot of time coaching the team so that once they come on board I'm absolutely then with them holding their hands and talking to them all the time about how to be successful and doing quite a lot of coaching and stuff with them quite a lot of mine a team as well of people who they've approached me so I've done lives and things like that and so they're obviously keen before they come on board. I'm not really prospecting people who are, well, I'm not really sure about it. Like they've already come to me and said, I'm interested, which has been- It's working great. well. Fabulous, stalker region, come in. Right, Stacey, did you want to share a little bit about going area with everybody as well, please? Yeah, so for me, it was more, so obviously it was about the activity and and, and the sponsoring but it wasn't so much of that for me it was about belief for me I had to work on myself for me what I believe got me there was personal development because Intel comes with the confidence to then pursue what you need to do so my biggest tip is love yourself like your life depends on it and read and grow yourself get yourself Whatever you need to do, whether it be a coach, yeah, the Makers Miracles, um, Louisa, how you can heal your life, and do it, do it. Don't pr procrastinate. Just do what the bloody book says. And if you don't resonate with it, fine, find something else that you do. Because at the end of the day, if you don't believe in yourself and don't believe you can do it, you will never do it. Never. So you need to have that belief. No, I had that. I knew no matter what, so like we, I, I was really scared. I went area call, then I shit myself. I stopped going on the seven o'clock area manager thing. I was like, nah, I can't do that. I shit myself. I'll be honest with you. I absolutely crap my pants. I thought, I can't do this. How am I meant to do this? So all I, I, I had, I'd, when I went to area call, um, Christy went to, I believe, area call, uh, district call, and then she completed over two months. Um, then I had people doing, I had Amanda, so in my second month, um, Amanda who, um, sort of not really in the business, but her and her mum always buy products and they love a flash buy. Um, and they, she wants to start the business, but she's just doing it slowly. So she ordered, um, 1200 QV worth of products for her and her mum. Um, I then had Dee go into Qual and she had sponsored two new um, consultants. Um, and then Elizabeth does her personal order and she done like um, a thousand QV. Um, and then she done, and, but in the middle of the month, it sort of went like, yeah, it was going, it's going, yeah, but then it sort of was 9,000. I needed 12 to complete because I did almost 12 on the first month. It was 11,888. Eight, eight. But it was only 9,000. And I was like, do you know what? Me and Dee were sitting here at midnight. And she goes, are you gutted? I was like, do you know what? I'm not. I said, because we did everything we could possibly do. So no, I'm not gutted. But I know we're doing it next month. So I don't have to worry about it. Um, so I just believed. I just knew. I just knew. It was, and as far as I was concerned, I was an area manager. It was done. Yeah. And that's what I kept saying. And um, even when Danny said, like, you're going to be, I said, I don't know why I say I'm going to be. I already am. <laughs> I was like, I'm already an area manager, I know I am. And um, everyone go, how far you got? I said, how long, how far you got? I said, oh, I'll have a look later. I said, but I'm an area manager anyway, so don't worry, I'm already celebrating. And, um, and I just believed that I was an area manager. I felt like an area manager. I spoke to Nikki Marchant, and I spoke to Danny, and I put on, the first time I actually done it, actually, I'll be honest with you, um, was the end, the first few days of the third month, I put the affirmations everywhere around the house, which I sent to Danny, 
I'm so happy and grateful for constant for um, perfect health and a constant abundance of time, money, and freedom in my life. I attract the right people um, to be an area manager by the 30th of June. And then I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm not going to put to be an area manager by the 30th of June. I'm going to put area manager with 30,000 QV. It's like I'm not, but I'm not going to give it like by the fit because I'm already an area manager. So I'm so happy and grateful for being an area manager. I'm so happy and grateful for being an area manager with 30,000 QV. Because as far as I was concerned, I was an area manager. So having that undoubted belief, no doubt in my mind, ever come across, even when, uh, even though I've done the events and we we done our month end a day early, which I highly recommend, um, highly recommend doing your month end one day early. Do your month end celebrations, get everyone come round, do all what you've got to do. And then if you've got any loose ends, which I did in the end, to tie up and... Um, you know, you'd have to worry, you'd have to panic. You'd have to be on the phone to head office, even though it was right at the end, in, in, in the end. But what happened was, is that some of the events didn't close. So we had to close the events and we phoned head office just to make sure. And then like at 11 o'clock at night, for some reason, some orders weren't going through because the American orders were coming in. And then I think it was like 23 minutes past 11 and finally it was 10,320. And I was like, what? And me and Dee were like, oh, and, you know, Dee had just promoted to be a brand new district manager. And she's been with me from the beginning. And, and I said to her, you know, when, when, she, when she dropped out and she had to take that time, I was gutted. I was heartbroken. I really was. Because um, we always said we'd do it together. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. You've had to take your time out. I took my time out as well. Um, so, and then, like, it gave her the belief. Because, obviously, I was helping her launch the other two. While she was at work, I was on the phone with our consultants going, right, guys, you guys have only got this to go to DM Qual. Um, this is what you're doing. This is what we need to do. Let's do this. What are you willing to do? Do you want district manager? What are your goals? Well, this is what you need to do. These are the dates that I'm free every Tuesday and Thursday. We can get together, and this is how we were working it. And um, it re- so me coaching them while she was at work worked really well. So like what Fiona said about that doubling, that really really helped, and it gave then gave Dee the confidence in the business and in herself. She did know it, but she she bless her she was just like oh I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till September I went no you're not you asked me to kick up the ass so I'm giving it to you you said to me push you and I said and I asked you how much do you want me to push you and you told me push me no matter what so you gave me the permission so I'm coming full force for you and she was like all right <laughs> and because we work together and we listen obviously if she took me meant, you know what I'm not doing it then I'll go okay but she's like no push me so I did um and teamwork it just it just it was just amazing it was just amazing and it was the belief and i said to d i took a leaf out of danny's book um i was messaging um danny would message me good morning area manager i'm like yeah good morning national vice president danny and then i'd message uh, and then obviously i'll talk to d and like good mo- good morning district manager manager d you know and and she's like ah! and it's just feeding those little bits of um sort of motivation and stuff like that mm-hmm. but the, the, the main thing is is to believe in yourself that's it believe you can do it and do whatever it takes to have that personal development and have a bloody gong bath I tell you <laughs> but that's it yeah I'm gonna have to go because I've got a coaching call thanks love it well done Stacey amazing much love thank you so much bye okay Suzanne did you want to share anything about going area Hi, yeah, sorry about that. Graham just turned up as I was uh, listening to that. Um, so what is it you want to know about going area? Yeah, anything that you've got to share, any do's, any don'ts, anything that you think would be um, useful for everybody here going area by October? The main thing for me about um, going area, I don't know if many people really know my story, but I am part of Danny's wonky leg quite near the top of it. Um, so my business is really unbalanced so I would say to go area make sure that you have a balanced a balanced stable business with like four at least four legs um because yeah I went area I did go area really quick and I will admit it that for me it it's I always sound not not such a fraud but it it happened it happened anyway it happened almost without me really knowing without me thinking without me having to do anything and for that it is I'm really grateful, but it's also then hard because I got there and now I've got to grow into that role. I've had to grow into that role. I've got, um, obviously I had CJ in the leg 
um, Carol Sutton Houghton and obviously Caroline that have just like everybody's just whizzing and it's and it's really hard to to keep that momentum yourself when everything's happening it can be really difficult to do it so have a balanced business have have equal legs and build them equally don't try to be too lopsided because it is hard when you are lopsided um, and for me it I've taken a bit of a battering from that me personally so like Stacey says I'm doing the make all's miracles definitely I'm working on myself and I'm working on balancing out my central balancing out my business so I think that's really important really really important to do it because yeah I've had a completely different journey to ev everybody else completely different and it is really it's just really weird like hearing other stories because I think oh that didn't happen to me but that's just we all have different businesses and this is just the way that mine happened happened to go so yeah I've sort of got to the role and then having to grow into it rather than growing into it and getting it if, you, if everybody can follow what I'm saying so yeah just try and keep consistent and yeah just work at it and and you you will you will get there but just yeah big thing balance definitely balance don't be wonky yeah and just making sure uh, that you, that you work like Suzanne just said you're working in your central district like going back to those three balancing plates that you're giving your time and energy to obviously your current team great your PQBs which is your, your customers and your PCs you know they're, they're the, the bread and butter to our business you know you can't not give any focus to your, to your customer base and make sure you're sponsoring as well like it's such a massive thing to be sponsored when I went region I had only sponsored four people and I went region and that was fantastic it absolutely is but like Suzanne said then all of a sudden like you, you, your team start dropping out or they start doing their own thing. So you have to keep sponsoring, you have to keep on. So I make sure that there's not a month that goes by that I'm not sponsoring at least one person, if not, if not more, um, because your shop's empty otherwise. So you've got to keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. And your team will duplicate what you do. So if you just like, don't say like you go a whole month and you haven't helped one PC or helped one customer, your team are gonna say to you like, what are you doing? What? What is it you're doing all day? And you're like, oh, I'm just thinking about what my team are doing. Like, you need to make sure that you're constantly in charge of your own business as well. Do you want to add anything to that, Fiona? I think there is a reason why Albon has these amazing incentives. I think as you become a very strong bonusing area manager, that's when you can start earning these trips. And um, you know, and that doesn't, you know, at whatever level. I think I think people don't realise it's, you know. You need to work in your central district. It's so up on a really. If you look at all the incentives they're doing, they do big incentives through summer, which is normally the Tiffany, um, and winter is when December when they start doing double AIT points for the incentive trip in December. So that says to me that speaks volumes about if up on are, are giving me, you know, that sort of you know that's their goal, setting these goals for me to be, you know, to to promote directly. Um, district areas, regions, um, and also to grow my central district, and that's where I see that that I need to work, you know, as well as my team, as well as mental. But you should be working more on your personal business than on your team, because if you like, like, so, so you know, if you're sponsoring people who want to run with this business, you're going to run with or without you. It's just how it is, okay? Um, and and, I, and you, you know, you can, you know, going area, you guys, you know, with the team that you have, it's about exactly that. Stacey was working in unison, find out the people that want to, you know, for me, um, the nation, the key was Nikki March, you region, you know, and it was like, we'll do it together, you know, so as you're going up the level, so to speak, so the key for Danny Green Nation is for some regions to pop out okay so it's growing people to that place but also you know what because i, I remember like having a conversation somebody said but if i'm focusing on promoting and really the ait is not that important i'm like you have both abundance or one or the other you know because if you're doing this which our body is going to give you this for and and just by promoting people to the third second third fourth level what are you doing you're doing you know you're, you're getting awarded for that that extra effort um 
And the fact is your central district, so it really doesn't matter what level you are in Arbonne, you will have a bigger central district that, 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 you know, as you go up levels of leadership because you will have more PCs, you have more years under your belt, you have more people you've spoken to, more people are buying. Um, so yes, that does make it nicer for us. But you know, the, the actually directing, directly promoting people it has to come from you, your skill set. Um, so I would say, you know, go for every incentive. Why not? You know, I think it's important people don't realize why the incentives, not just to look on a beach and tell your friends back home I've got a great you know, lifestyle in Arbonne. Uh, there is more, <laughs> there's a lot more to it. And when you get on these incentive trips and you want to be a region or a nation and you're rubbing shoulders with these people who are your idols and they're giving more ideas of golden, golden nuggets in one day than you would get in five years I'm not going to AIT trip and, and you really know the power of these AIT trips as some well. Of the, some so. of the people on the trips charge like a thousand pounds for an hour of their time and you get it for free just sitting next to them by the poolside. Mm. Yeah so so work at all all balanced you know like you said Danny there's three areas you know you're doing your personal um you know and then obviously your, your ICs and, and third clients you know you know, but your new client, new consultants, and, and your standing consultants. Um, don't spend again. Ask the people what they want to do. Like rock out nights if you if you know if if you're helping people promote your team for yourself too, because you're helping them to promote, which will eventually help you. So it's all it's all intermittent. Um, and then I would say as well, when people say, okay, you know, what are we gonna, you know, what can you commit to this month? So we're going to complete whatever. Very, very cool. And then we're going to complete area. What can you commit to, to bring into the team this month? But if they tell you, half it. Half it. But don't tell them that. Yeah, don't tell them that. But you half that. When you're working out your plan of action, half the QV. So you know you've got the names here, like Danny said, the circles to fill in. You've got the QV. I do a countdown list. I love countdown lists. Um, but you know what? If they say, right, I'm going to do whatever, half that amount. So you know that you're not going to miss out on that promotion because they didn't show up in parade. Because you can't blame the finger on your team. Um, as much as we know that you, we want to go, you know, oh, it's not, you can't do that. You know, again, you are a person who's, who wants this promotion, who's striving for this promotion, not them. So do remember that too. Yeah, if anyone's you, thinking, if only my team did this, if only my team did that, you've got to do more personal development because it's not about your team, it's about you. Yeah, yeah. I remember a funny call that um, Cecilia Stoll used to say so years ago. Well, if Arbonne only sold deodorant, I'd be a national vice president. If they only sold, <laughs> I think that was funny. <laughs> yeah. So, did anyone have any last questions before we end the call? So we've got our boot camp starting on Sunday. So it's a nine week boot camp for everybody that's going for district by October and everybody going for area by October. And um, every single week, the call's gonna be on a different skill to, to learn about. And there's gonna be like a challenge, like a task set or homework set for that week. And um, please do make sure that you're, you're doing these tasks because they are set to help push you. And these obviously aren't for everybody in the team, but they are for the people that have said they want to push in. Like what Stacey said earlier about D, if you are in the going area by October group and if you're in the district by October group you've committed to wanting to be pushed so these tasks that are set are there to make sure that you are being pushed and if at some point you feel like I don't want to do it and I don't want to promote by October that's fine that's totally cool so just unclick out of the group and then come back in whenever you do want to sort of go for that next level it's absolutely fine but these these are for literally people that are dedicated to growing over the summer doing the weekly tasks spurring everybody on using everybody as accountability and absolutely going for that promotion by october you know there's going to be a lot of energy going on and if you're not wanting to promote by then that's fine but you'll feel overwhelmed and lost if you're not participating yet everybody else is you'll feel like you're drowning almost so just unclick out the group it's absolutely fine it's not for everybody but if you're wanting to push yourself which you guys all clearly are because you're on this call you're in the whatsapp make sure that you are doing the tasks that are set so last week we set a task to listen to the jerry boys until 
Bernie on Fire call. Can't even do the accent, which I think everybody listened to. If you haven't, make sure that you do listen to that. And then this week's task was to write out your business plan. Everybody's plan will be different. Some people have shared some amazing business plans. If you haven't yet done yours, make sure that you write out your business plan with your dates, where your QB is coming from, how many parties are you doing, how many one-to-ones are you doing, how, get in front of your 40 faces, like Fiona said, how are you going to get in front of 40 faces? Are you going to do 40 one-to-ones or are you going to do eight parties or are you going to do a mix? It really doesn't matter, it's your business, but you do need to be really in front of 40 faces a month. And, and we're going to find the document as well so you can print it off. The 40 faces sheet is fantastic because you can fill out all the names of every eyeballs that you've got in front of to talk about Arbonne. Um, any advice for not being scared of your business plan? No, your business plan has to scare you. It has to scare you. If it doesn't scare you, it's not big enough. My nation business plan makes me want to poo my pants, but that's a good thing. So if it scares you, that's good. If it doesn't scare you, you've got to redo your business plan. <laughs> is, that, is that all on the WhatsApp, Danny? Or did you say there was a Zoom call or... Um, uh, what, the boot camp yeah it's every sunday where the area call would have been so for nine weeks there's not going to be an area call at eight till nine on a sunday it's going to be the boot camps for nine weeks right okay, okay. so i'll have to catch up on them yeah first. they'll be recorded yeah. yeah fab cheers and on that note as well um i've always had the same problem chloe yeah so you will never your business will never get bigger if you don't get bigger than your business so it's about passing that vision, getting big, wide, fat legs, like Suzanne spoke about. It's the only time you want wide, fat legs in your life. Um, and it's about stretching. Um, the feeling You do feel sick about it. It's not funny. <laughs> it is really not funny. Um, you kind of go, oh, my God, how on earth, you know, um, make sure your air business plan has enough sponsoring. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and actually, when you get into it, it becomes an inspired activity. Um, People close to you aren't always emotionally supportive. Uh, Kelly, that's the norm. Um, I'm afraid it's when people when people aren't supportive. Um, it does two things to people. They either go it, introvert or extrovert. You know, you either go right. You know what? That's giving me the, the grit and the determination to prove to you that I I am enough and I'm going to do this. You know, with or without your support. People get pushed into a corner where they, they become very sort of like submissive about it. Um, and allow that outside feeling to take over the inside control. So you get to control your attitude, you get to control your activity, and you do get to control that emotional mindset. And it's so hard, um, Kelly, if you don't have a supportive partner or friends are okay because you're going to move away from the friends because your vibration is changing. As you go to area, by the way, people get to district, you may have heard this, get to area people get area won't necessarily get to region and that's kind of true because you are not a district manager as an area okay and the same thing so as you're changing frequency is different um and it is really hard when you don't have the support around you i must admit that i would tend to if it was your partner i don't know who it is and you don't have to tell us i would tend to always use a tool to um help the other person see it if they're willing to engage in a different in tool rather than a yes no from the opposite end of the table so i would like um who was saying angela Brunning, her partner he's not not unsupportive but you know it's all new it's very new come on it's a bit weird right so she put a um thinking uh robert kiyosaki you know um the the rich dad poor dad cd in the car just so every time he switched to the end it was playing and uh, then he started listening to it and he came back going whoa that's pretty good isn't it so that's the way to kind of like you know what we we girls are kind of you know we know how to work on men you know we know how to get around situations like if, we, if you come in this no yes no yes no conflict that's not going to happen that's confrontation so do other ways like maybe just you know um other areas like somebody if they've been negative give them a little gift sample or just do something generous and and um you know it's you you know and, and and that's really what i can say and again keep on working with yourself and understanding that you know when somebody says to me so and so hurt my feelings no you actually allowed them to hurt your feelings yeah, I was going to I was going to agree with that because I think a lot of the time people react on how you actually feel internally. So when I first started this business, I had a lot of people doubt me and it used to bother me, but I had still have the same amount of people doubt me now, but it really doesn't bother me. It's so much so if somebody said to me now, "Danny, you've got blonde hair." I'd be like, "No, I've not." If they literally were insistent I had blonde hair, I wouldn't 
I wouldn't get upset about it. I'd just be like, okay, that's your, that's your choice. And if someone said to me, Danny, you're a really bad mom, I'd be like, do you know what? That's your choice. I, I know I'm not. So when somebody says to me, your business is stupid, I'm like, okay, that's your choice. And do you know what? It all comes against like, a feeling. And, and another top tip I want to give to you that I stole from Arizona. And it's an amazing, amazing top tip is how you feel when you talk to people, whether you're talking to a negative spouse, whether you're talk to a negative friend or whether you're even doing a one-to-one so I'll, I'll tell you this now so I picked this up from I think Miranda Bircher imagine how you feel when you're sat in front of somebody at a coffee date doing a one-to-one so just imagine that feeling you know most people like sweaty palms a bit nervous thinking oh my god are they going to say no what questions are they going to ask me what objections are they going to say so just take yourself to that feeling of when you're presenting the Arbonne business plan to somebody while you're having a coffee in a coffee shop so just picture that feeling okay right that feeling just put that to one side for a moment I'm going to come back to that in a second now I want you to pretend that I have said to you I need you to pick up the phone and book five one-to-ones next week and if you can sit down with five separate people over a coffee and spend 20 minutes doing the DA presenting Arbonne I am going to give the friends that you invite a thousand pounds but the catch is you cannot tell them. You cannot tell them they're going to get a thousand pounds. They have to agree to meet you for a coffee and they have to show up and they have to listen to you present the business opportunity. If they do all of that, and um, you don't tell them about the thousand pounds, they will get a thousand pounds. Which five friends would you pick? And how would you talk to them about meeting for a coffee date next week? And how would you talk to them about getting them to listen to you for 20 minutes to talk about the business, knowing that at the end they're going to get a thousand pounds? So imagine that feeling now. So compare that feeling to the old feeling. So those are two very different feelings. So what you want to do is when you are talking about your business, whether that's to somebody negative or to somebody at one-to-one, have the feeling that you've got that they're going to get a thousand pounds just for sitting and listening to you. So those are different feelings. And that's how I feel. If somebody told me my hair's blonde, I'm like, all right then, if that's what you want to say. But I completely relate. Because when I first started the business, I used to feel nervous and unsure. So that used to reflect off and other people would question it. And then I'd be like, oh my gosh, like my reaction would be like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. But now... I'm like Caroline, balls of steel. I'm like, you can say whatever you like about my business. At the end of the day, I'm going on trips. I've got free time. My husband doesn't have to work for a boss that he hates anymore. Like, I'm, li- I'm living the dream. Ian said to me the other day, he goes, does it bother you that, you that you irritate a few people? I was like, no. Like, honestly, if I could give, like, yeah, I irritate a few people now, but I would never, ever swap that for going back to having what I had before. No way. You can care less so yeah just make sure that you work on that feeling uh, back to you fiona i just want to say i've just read the words there kelly i'm working very hard to build myself up against it you'll always be fighting this you don't need to build yourself up against it you need to flow with it like danny says it's water for ducks back it's like it's not you're not taking on board to fight it because there's no fight for you because you are have some inner some calm about it and inner respect for yourself and you know like you know like you know like the sun will rise in the morning the moon will rise at night so don't fight against it right go with it you don't need to build up that resistance water comes to a rock and a stream it doesn't stop you build up its resistance to, to move the rock out of the way it goes over it around it under it it's the ebb and flow it's the universe it's all about this you breathe out you breathe in you know so if you stop and build up your energy work against something you're going to come you'll never you'll never win ever so just thought so just looking at your words there right okay so we'll end this call i hope that this has been useful for everybody please do share your business plan on the whatsapp group if you haven't already um and if anybody has any more questions use the whatsapp group you know that's what we're all there for all we're all going for the same goal here you know there's nobody in the in the whatsapp group that isn't going for uh, area by october so we need to use each other to be accountable we need to be sharing ideas which we absolutely are doing already we need to keep doing what we're already doing and um the calls will start this sunday eight till nine PM and they are recorded if anybody can't get on them as well. So that's it from me. Have you owned anything? No, just to say you guys are so proud of you. You're doing incredible. Okay. You you know you you you're here. You know, you, we're all still pioneers. You know that. You are taking that path less traveled. You are facing, you know, people's 
you know, all people's thoughts. But like, like Stacey said, it was her in a game and her belief that she was worthy. And again, your business will never grow higher than your own self-worth. And that's true. And I remember Gordon Fraser saying that to me one time. Um, you know what? Wherever you, you're at in your own self-worth, if you don't think you're worthy, if you look around and think, you know, it works because you can see she's got the car, she's got the car, she's, you know, why is it not happening for me? Ask yourself, why are you doing that stuff, you know? Because it works if you work, first of all, but also that inner game of just having self-respect and knowing you're worthy of it as well. So you are all showing up and that's the that's number one, you're you're off now, okay? You're on this call live. You can't be live. So I don't even record calls after people don't come on it in my lot because I just think you should be here. So I'm getting a bit tough in my old age, but you are already winning. So there you go. All right. Good night, everybody. Have a good rest of your evening. Bye.